Okay, solving the equations once again. Negative sign, equal sign. One term, two terms, three terms. This negative sign, I, I want to do something. I want to get rid of it. So I'm going to transpose it to join one over n. So that's going to become positive. It'll be m plus 2 over m plus 5 equals m plus 3 over m. Notice I'm always lining up the equal signs so I know what I transpose. Now we're going to get rid of the n, so I'm going to multiply each term by m times m times m times m. This cancels and I'm left with m plus 3. M over M is 1 plus M times M plus 2 over M plus 5. Get rid of this negative. Multiply this. We'll call this, we'll put it together. Okay. We'll multiply M plus 5 with this. So I'll have M plus 3 and m plus 5 equals 1 times m plus 5 plus m plus 5 over here. We'll cancel this. I'm left with m and m plus 2. This is like an m plus 5, okay? That goes into that. This is a 2, so we don't get confused. Okay, let's change the color a little bit. We're going to expand, okay, expand, m times m is m squared, 5m and 3m is 8m, and 3 times 5 is 15, and this is m plus 5, m times m is m squared, and m times 2 is 2m. Okay, my equal sign is still in the middle. Both sides have an m squared, they cancel. Now I have 8m plus 15. And I have a 2m and an m that collects to make 3m. And then I have a 5. Okay, I'm going to leave the equal sign where it is. Now, I want the m's on one side, so leave the 8m where it is, transpose the 3, becomes 3m, transpose the 15 over here, minus 15, plus 5. Now, notice my equal signs are all lined up, it allows for less confusion. Collect like terms, 5m. Subtract, and this is negative 10. Divide both sides by 5. And n is 1 negative, keep it, negative 2. So once again, transpose. No negatives. I've avoided all kinds of negatives. If I would stay here and work it, I'd have all kinds of negatives to work on. I've eliminated it, makes it less confusing.